My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Monster Train. We're going to be continuing in the expert challenges here, going with stewardship, uh, which says start with powered up train stewards, but pay for it with a tithe. Let's jump in. So I imagine this is just going to give us uh, an advanced prototype to begin with, but we earn half money over the course of the entire run. Half money is... <laughs> oh, it hurts. Oh, but two molders and two ritual of battle is a way to do this. That's real good. Uh, Flicker's liquor basically means nothing costs anything, so yeah. Reform two random units, burn out three. Uh, we have the ability to reform Rector here, so I think we'll go with that. Okay. This is already looking actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll take my early unit draft here. We're gonna need all the advantages we can get. And we're also very powerful right now, so... Uh, so the thing is, I should put that there and then you there. The idea being that if a collector spawns in the midline, I have the ability to just, you know, put someone there immediately to deal with it. But if it spawns on the top line, you would be dazed, so you would have to... You wouldn't be able to attack it, right? Um, oh, by the way, if you're not familiar, Advanced Prototype, the new version of it. Steward units gain plus five, plus five, as well as two damage shield, as well as one multi-strike. It's real good. Yeah, that dreg was supposed to go on the next line. Oops. Whoopsie doopsie. Well fine, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be committing oopsies, then I have to find a way to bail myself out of it. Molded, get back the wreck the flicker. Play that, and then we're bailed out of it. The burn bright wreck the flicker with the ability to reform it, like, easily. It's real good. It's so some draft, oh my god. Yeah, because we're playing units all the time, so it's always going to cost less for us. Um, Lady of the Reform to stand in front of Rect... No, no, because Rector Flicker stands in front of the train stewards is the whole thing right now, right? Nah, Lady of the Reform could be useful too. Right now, I just think it's money and spell upgrades. Hold over. That's exactly what I wanted. Because uh, then we hold over a molded. And we reduce its cost. Well, we can just hold over a, a wicked blaze, reduce its cost. Yeah, I, I like that more. I'm going to appear on each floor. That could be a little problematic on the top floor, but the 35 extra gold is another cost removal. That's going to gonna matter on the car that has holdover that generates minions for us. Okay, so we've taken six damage to this so far. Unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna take another two here. But now that we've taken eight damage, we've already confirmed that we're going to win against the boss, so... Pretty good. Mm. Sure, let's get that drink back. Play it out. Dang, I was really hoping the Ritual of Battle would have been hit there. Giant draft? Yeah, more than enough. <laughs> I'm so glad that I took the draft. Yep, 
second draft. I think that's it though. <laughs> that's the end of our draft times. Uh, I am also going to need some AOE that can hit a backliner. So a vent with a plus 10 magic power on it might be the way that we accomplish that. Uh, going to a Merchant of Steel with as little money as I have at the moment feels a little bad. So I'll take the Hustle Sword. Summon abilities trigger an additional time or whenever a card with Consume is played. We have no cards in the entire deck with Consume at the moment. We might take some summon abilities later. None of those though. Ooh. We'll take the Calcified Embers here. Over the Abandoned Stave. We don't need that much energy generation because we're using Molded to constantly play cheap cards that then make the rest of the cards in our hand cost less. I think I need space here after this though. Wait, you have it in camp, but you don't have a slay trigger. That's fine. So I can put you there. And then... Backliner again. I mean, what happens when the Lady of the Reform dies? Remort reform it. <laughs> like, it's not a problem. It's extremely accounted for. Uh, let's use a Wicked Blaze, getting back a drag, use it on the wrong floor, of course, though. All part of the strategy. Definitely not a giant mistake. Um, yeah, the people on this floor are going to live long enough. Let's do that. Now we're starting to get drafts, and as the drafts get stronger and stronger, I'm going to put them behind the Lady the Reformed afterwards. In fact, I think I'll uh, put the first one down now. Which is completely fine, because I'm about to just rebuild the Lady the Reformed. Yeah. Which means the draft no longer burns out, which means our damage is a lot. Doing that with two drafts behind there? Woo! Now you're working with something. Uh, random to play Endless to a friendly unit. Uh... I actually don't think that's necessary. Last Stand doubles our rage, but again, like, we don't... <laughs> Man, Last Stand, sure. No, that, though. Thank you. <clears throat> and I've got to take the extra capacity. Ooh. Love to see a Hellvent dupe as well as a uh, Unstable. What do we have mega upgraded here? We have a Wicked Blaze, kinda mega upgraded. No, I'm gonna go over here and actually just go for the cost reduction. I'm gonna be boring about it. Uh, while I can make Last Stand cost less, I'm going to do it. My reasoning behind that is a lot of the time it's going to cost nothing. Uh, because we will have played other units out of the hand uh, and reduce its cost that way. So Burn Bright's now an 80-80. Gotta make sure that I don't dilute this deck much at all. Almost enemy units with all health when they move up a floor, that's fine. The maximum health they have here is 35. We instantly bought one of those with a Rector Flicker. Hmm? Okay, apparently we don't. Huh. Something wacky happened here. Gosh. 
Guardian, you're quite healthy. Something real messed up happened here. Also looks like I'm about to lose both of those top line. Wait, hang on. No, one of them takes damage to a clip conduit. Thank you. Yeah, I need drafts to die. Yeah, we're losing the whole top floor there. It's fine, there are a lot of Moldeds left in the deck. Yeah, the unfine thing is that we're not going to be able to do anything about that Clips Guardian right now. Ow. Great. Lady of the Reform really needs some extra health points. <laughs> More than three. Um... I mean, at a certain point of the game, Sacred Wicks just becomes really good. Becomes like a really huge energy pump for us. Transcendent makes some kind of sense, but only after we start getting any... Uh, any... Uh, imps, but I think we're a bit late to start doing that, I think. I think it actually is Inferno. Inferno is really powerful. Thank heck. That is going to make our setup a lot easier. Okay. I mean, putting another multi-strike on a draft is so good. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it doesn't give us the health that we uh, wanted there. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to take that. Too late to go for the other one, I think. I used to say, too late to go for Petty Theft. Okay, so the Crystal Cloak, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to reform tanky units on every floor just to take up all of the stealth triggers of the Crystal Cloak. But honestly, enemies dealing more damage is usually good for me so that I can get more of my units dead. I mean, you know, 10 damage sweeps and kills those two, so I really need a train suit on the top floor, but it's not going to work. Oh, well. Let's, uh, there's a drag here. What about a rid about? Okay, never mind. We got the torch. Thank heck. Being significantly worse. Uh, let's molded to get the draft back. That'll live through the Master of Light sweep attack there. This draft that I play down won't live. So should I play it? Yeah, let's play it down here so that I can prevent 15 damage to the Rector Flicker. And then I get to Wicked Blaze, the draft with the extra multi-strike, and bring back the Lady of the Reforms. We'll keep each other alive and company.
I made an awful mistake a while ago, and I need to fix it right now. I need to use an Inferno. Not on this bottom floor, but uh, on one of these floors to clear up some space for me to actually play minions. I'm just going to get that 40. Okay, we got most of the enemy stealth off already. Let's uh, bring back Rector Flicker. The amount of damage shield they had actually turned out to be enough there. Oh my god. Thank heck. Uh, remove all debuff effects from friendly units and all buff effects. No, but they're not going to be. It's not the Seraph that saps. Like, fine, right? Yeah, hard pass that too. God. Branding Rite's real appealing to try and keep the Lady of the Reformed around. It's also an extremely good double stack target, despite double stack also being you know, prohibitively expensive at this point. Okay. That's all I wanted. Extra health again on the Lady of the Reformed. Give Rage 7 to a draft, sure. Yeah, we, we just pulled out so far ahead with the power we picked up there. Uh, hmm. A monster rail spike on a on a train steward and then not playing that train steward until the final fight actually seems kind of interesting to me. But then I would never be able to reform it. No, yeah, not never being able to reform it is actually like too far of a downside. Let's get a torch out of here. One less torch is one less card that can take away a cost reduction from a ritual of battle that I might have in hand. It's relevant. It is relevant. Do you think I have Inferno in order to be able to clear my own lanes when I need to? Comes in handy, that. Nice. Could I get capacity after this as well? Don't think I want this draft on the bottom line at the. S yeah, no. You can go at the front. I am going to clear this line. That clearing was dumb, wasn't it? It was real dumb. It's extremely not a good idea. not have been the most clever idea I've ever had, but I want to make sure that I'm okay against the fell later. It's definitely not the best idea I've ever had. Come on, fell. Yeah, top floor is going to be here. Problem, unfortunately. Well, it's the kind of problem about which I can do nothing right now, so it's the kind of problem I'll put out of sight and out of mind for the moment. Just accept the damage. Ow. Fine. 
Yeah, we were already fine on the bottom floor. It, it was over, uh, over precious to try and handle the mid floor with the, the Inferno there. I just got a little shocked by, you know, how, how off guard I was at the end of the last fight. I like draw. Yeah, draw is really, really good early to help me get my cycles, uh, to help me get my battlefield set up because the energy is accounted for by all the zero costs and the excavated embers that I have in my deck. Yeah, obviously, like a relic shot means nothing to me. Reforming two things a turn is good. Reforming two more things a turn, though? Now that's bad. Now nah, I've, I've just got to go for the 145. Yeah. We should be able to scale to that damage. Okay. Uh... Like, I want Purifiers dead instantly, but also I don't want to have to set up on the bottom floor entirely. Do I? No, I should set up on the, I should set up on the bottom floor, right? It's just, I don't want to do it until after I have the Inferno played. I'm just not playing the Inferno here. Is that at all reasonable? <laughs> that might be the most reasonable thing. Ugh. Please, Ritual of Battle. Why? Alright. Uh, let's drop a self-mute there. I guess I hope I get a uh, I got a wicked blaze. It's very handy. And there's another one, but I'm not gonna be able to use it for any damage. But at the very least, I can cast it so I get the holdover trigger. At the absolute least here, we managed to get the frontliner down. Inferno self-mutilation. And I'm also gonna pop a, another one of these down here. God, we get really close on all of these floors. Like if we actually got one of our ritual of battles off, we would be completely comfy. Alright. That's the draft we've been looking for this whole time. We've got it now. Then we'll play a uh, train steward there in the front line. And do I want to burn two self mutilations or use a branding right? I think it's two self mutilations. Need to get them out of the deck. these out of the grave. We'll just gradually summon them so I can get all the self-mutes out. Yeah, unfortunately, 23 damage there on that top line. But it all works out here on the bottom. So, what? How much damage did we end up taking over the course of that? 23? 34? 34 for 200 coins? That's 400 coins usually, but, you know, half. I think that's, yeah, I think that's good enough and necessary. Pyre Chomper would be a lot of excess energy that I would not have anything that I could spend it on.
Card removal's like basic torches from this deck is like it's very, very effective. Uh, extinguish ability trigger an additional time. That doesn't happen. Uh I should probably re-roll. Conserve energy between turns. Gosh. I mean, the excavated embers are gonna give us excess energy on those turns. And then I'll consume, remove one of them. <laughs> to play it super constantly. And then plus 10 on the vent. Very, very good final shops there. We'll remove two basic torches. Then go for the Seraph to chase boss fight. Half of our buff and debuff stack effects, that's fine. So obviously we're not going to be heavily banking on rage. We're going to be instead trying to use Wicked Blaze reforms in order to get our power. Fine. I'll put a draft down super early. Nothing right now. Let's just make sure we get those played out safely and draft torch, saving some HP on the Lady of the Reformed right now. We also need to use the Wicked Blaze just so that the Lady of the Reform is easier to rebuild. Nothing out of that one. Uh, let's put you there. There we go. So we'll lose the Lady of the Reformed. I'll use a Wicked Blaze to get it back. Nice. We're going to lose the draft in the back line due to the sweep of the Pie Wing. That is actually really good for us. Oddly, actually, something I'm desperately interested in having happen. Hold. Okay. Oh, must mean two gilded with oof. Yikes. Like that at all. I have to use a ritual of battle to try and get you down or something like that. Um. That looks a lot better for me. I mean, top floor is actually managing itself quite well. I was more scared about that earlier. You can save 15 pyre damage by using this ritual to battle there. Good enough for me. Unfortunately, these Ember Drain turns really, really take a bunch out of us. But if we didn't have the uh, the Unbroken Horn, those would actually end our run. So taking a lot out of us rather than ending our run, you know what? I'm comfy with that. That's good enough for me. Okay. 
Let's get you back. That back as well. Do I use last stand? Eh, it's 300 extra damage. Keep going, keep going. Mm. I think maybe I just need to set up the top floor. Okay, come on. Make the Wicker Blades cost zero. Not what I wanted. Okay, I need to draw another Molded then. We got the Wicker Blades. Uh... So that's a lot more damage, right? The draft. That's way more damage overall. Should have reformed two units first. Oh my gosh. Ordering here is all garbage. So close. I worry that misordering my final drag actually lost that run. I put it at the back. I should have put it at the, the second position on that floor. Damn it. We got very, very far in our first attempt at this challenge, though. Very, very, very good kind of setup. Like, this would have been, like, an easy A25 win. Um, obviously, you know, if we didn't have Tithe, we would have had the ability to do a lot more. But we did get a lot of upgrades for a run that has Tithe as well. Started out with a really, really powerful deck. Just, just didn't manage to make it there at the end. At the moment, my name's been Rhapsody. The name of the game? Best believe it's been Monster Train. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, so there's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the game past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.